We serve the 48205 zip code, which is one of the more problematic zip codes in the city of Detroit. We have blight issues. We have um, issues with robberies, some homicides. Now, we also have students who live in the neighborhood who walk to and from school. And we are in an area of Detroit where a myriad of houses and businesses are abandoned. And so oftentimes our students have to walk past uh, abandoned buildings, several abandoned buildings from their homes to school. My daughter was on her way dropping her brother off to school. On After she dropped him off, she was going to school. A man decided that it was his right to try and grab her and snatch her in the car and try to take her into an abandoned building. We get in our cars and we go home and we come to work, but they are the ones who are going by this this abandoned house every day. AmeriCorps helped by boarding up the house that he tried to drag my daughter into that protects some of these kids. Now the students feel more safe in their neighborhoods. Uh, the AmeriCorps uh, Urban Safety Program has been a great partner with our local uh, police and law enforcement efforts, uh, volunteering in neighborhoods, safe walks to schools. Uh, they're great partners. What we are doing is to try to help the residents be safe in this environment. We board up the houses. We help people to try to find employment. We get neighborhood patrols going, all so that we can decrease the uh, presence of crime in the neighborhood. The goal of the AmeriCorps Urban Safety Program is to improve uh, neighbor guardianship within our communities in the city of Detroit. There are no magical solutions. If I want to see change come about in my neighborhood, then I've got to get involved and uh, start helping to make those changes. We have the patrol in our community, so the responsibility of the patrol is, is to just go out, be the eyes and ears. We don't get involved in anything. We're just the eyes and ears for the police. One of the ways we help with safety is uh, some of the homes we go into actually don't have deadbolts or they don't have working deadbolts. Uh, so we can install those on people's homes and make them feel more secure. You know, so much that works about AmeriCorps. I've had a chance over the last year to talk to a group of AmeriCorps uh, young people out of Wayne State who were engaged, they were committed, wanted to be part of a difference in this city. And that really what makes Detroit a different place. At the CompStat meetings, we look at the, the statistics on the board and together with AmeriCorps and our citizens, we develop plans to address the crime issues that are currently happening within the precinct. In the neighborhoods where AmeriCorps has served, we've seen a 26% decrease in crime. We've seen a cost savings from that also, over $300 million. That could not have happened without AmeriCorps standing by our side. The program is important because it brings residents together and people are talking, and as a result of that, I believe that neighborhoods are safer. The AmeriCorps Detroit Urban Safety Program is leading the way in citizen participation and mitigating crime in Michigan.